Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was trying to get sober. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, where we focus on helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. So I remember back to when I was trying to quit each of those things, nicotine, weed, okay, all that stuff, and especially for weed and nicotine. One of the things that I would always tell myself was, oh, I'm going to get sober when I graduate high school. I'm going to quit chewing tobacco. I'm going to quit vaping. I'm going to quit smoking weed when I graduate college. And then, you know, some time would go by. Here I am. I graduated high school. I graduated college. And I'm still doing the exact same stuff that I said I was going to quit doing. And then I'd say to myself, I'm going to quit when I get a job. And then getting a job wasn't good enough. I just simply had more money for more substances. So then it became, I'm going to quit when I make more money. Because at the time, I really didn't have any money. I wasn't making good money. And I was like, ah, what's the difference if I keep spending my money on this stuff anyways? Because I'm broke anyways. And I would sometimes say, I'm going to quit when I get in a healthy relationship. I'm going to quit when I get married. I'm going to quit when whatever, you know, I'm going to quit after New Year's. I'm going to quit after this big event. I'm going to quit when I get a different job. And this, this was the mistake. The mistake was constantly saying, I'm going to quit when, and then setting some predetermined notion at the end of that sentence. And that was a big mistake because that when never really comes that that day never comes and i think it's a very 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 dangerous approach to take to sobriety because what happens and you guys may have experienced this before is when you're when you're stuck in active addiction like that at a low point your goal is pretty much to get sober because you see more potential for yourself. You see that you're capable of doing more. And really, you have nothing to lose. Like you, maybe you don't have good money. Maybe you don't have a healthy relationship. And you're saying, okay, I'm going to get sober to attain all of those things. But where I think it becomes dangerous, and this was starting to happen to me, and I see this with clients that we work with. What if you do land a good job in active addiction? What if you do find that girl or that guy that you want to get married to and you carry that addiction into your marriage, into your family life, into your relationship? What if you start to achieve and you start to hit all of those ones while you're addicted, while you're still struggling? And that's where I think this becomes very dangerous because then all of a sudden, now it becomes, well, why am I quitting? I got the relationship. I got the money. I got the job. I got the things that I'm looking for in life. And now I think quitting becomes much more challenging because I know for me personally, addiction, that addictive voice in my brain started to tell me, Frank, you're, you're successful because, you've, because of this addiction. It's helped you accomplish these things in your life. And that addictive voice started to convince me as I hit some of those landmark goals that I said I was going to quit prior to achieving them. Frank, hey, you accomplished these things because, because of the drugs, because of the substances, when, I, you know, of course, that wasn't true. And I think it makes it even harder for a person to quit when they have all of those things, because now it's not about what you're going to gain in life. It's much sadder than that, in my opinion. It starts to become about all the things that you stand to eventually lose in life. And I, I find it very, very challenging. We, we work with a lot of people in those positions where they got the good job, they got the great family life, everything is perfect except for this addiction. And their, their mentality is kind of, well, why would I bother quitting? Now, there's a million reasons. Maybe their health is deteriorating. Maybe they're blowing through their money too fast. Who knows what it is? But I just, I caution you guys for that. So don't make the mistake of saying, I'm going to quit when. I think it's a very, very, very dangerous game to play. And I think it creates a very dangerous men mentality that I know I started to carry out in other aspects of my life, like that procrastination mentality. Well, I'll do this tomorrow. I'll do this next week. 
Oh, I got that thing for work. I don't got to worry about that now. Oh, I got a bill in the mail. I'll pay it the day before it's due or a week after it's due. I That, that mentality of pushing things off and saying, oh, I'm not going to do this now. I'm not going to take action now started to creep into almost every aspect of my life. And I think one of the beautiful things about quitting an addiction, quitting smoking weed and getting sober, whatever it is you're trying to quit, is being decisive in your decision making and then starting to carry that decisiveness into other aspects of your life. Oh, I'm going to start a business for myself. I'm going to do this for this business. I'm going to marry that girl. I'm going to marry that guy, whatever it is. You start to become more decisive, or at least I did when I became you know, sober, when I started to quit these substances. And I think that's something that you gain back in sobriety that addiction robs of you. But if you stay wishy-washy in your addiction and you're, I'm going to quit if this happens, or no, I'm not, or yes, I am, I think it makes you a very wishy-washy, uncommitted individual, at least it did for me in other aspects of my life. And that was super, super damaging. And that was one of the many side effects of active addiction that I experienced that I didn't really see until I got sober. All those, I'm going to quit when I meet the right girl. I'm going to quit when I make the right amount of money. I'm going to quit when I get out of high school, when I get a better job, when I graduate college. None of those things happened in my life until I got sober. Like I wasn't attracting a good job while I was all messed up. I wasn't attracting the right type of relationship when I was, you know, high a majority of the time. I wasn't I wasn't respecting my time. I wasn't respecting other people. And in turn, other people weren't respecting me. And I, you know, no opportunities were coming up for me. And I realize now looking back, it was getting sober and quitting those substances that was the catalyst to creating all of those positive future scenarios, right? Like a lot of those positive future scenarios weren't just going to happen to me by osmosis. I had to go work to create those things, to create the income, to create the relationship, to find the job, to, to build up my health and my stamina better. I had to go actively do those things. So had I stayed in active addiction, as I said earlier in this video, when that that future circumstance probably never would have arose and even scarier when it did start to arise, I carried that addiction into some of those things and like addiction does to a person, it destroys them. It destroys everything that you have eventually. That's the goal of addiction. It's like a parasite. It takes everything from you, then it takes from those around you and then eventually it leaves you with very little in life. But Or if I were to give people advice, it would be as don't wait around an active addiction, smoking weed, nicotine, whatever, alcohol, for that when moment. Go create it. Go put yourself in circumstances that make that a reality versus some scenario that may or may not occur in the distant future. I hope this video helps you guys out. Why don't you follow me into the comment section and let me know what mistakes have you made when trying to quit an active addiction and give me some ideas that I can maybe make some more videos for you guys giving you tips and advice to help you through it. I'll see you guys in the comments.